If I was a bet man, I'd say that's an urn, but I, what do I know? Oh, wow. This is beautiful, guys. Look at this. Wow. Holy cow. Whoa! $375 what she wanted for that piece. This is just incredible. What's going on guys? It's Jason Thrift Trader coming back to you with another video since like it's been like 45 days and I am sorry. That's all I can say about it. Guys, I have been working on this shop getting a lot of this stuff liquidated because I was just getting over inundated with product and that's what I've been working on the past 45 days. It's a new year and what better way to start off with a clean slate. And I must say, since this is the first video that we have posted since we hit 50,000 subscribers on this channel, now we're at 53 and I have to say thank you. Thank you for everyone who has smashed that subscribe button and click the bell so that you get notifications when we post videos. It means the world to me. It is the absolute number one way that you can support this channel without costing you a dime. So I appreciate it very, very much. With that out of the way, guys, we are going through more mystery boxes from the QVC hoarder storage unit. And let me tell you, we still have a lot to go through. Look at all of this mystery, guys. This is all from the QVC hoarder storage unit. This is the remainder of it. And we still have tons to go through. I can't believe how much stuff we pulled out of this little 10 by 10 storage unit. I mean, it was packed to the gills from top to bottom, from side to side, floor to ceiling. It was just plumb full, guys. And we have all of that yet to go through. So this right here is what we'll be tackling the next several videos. We're gonna see just how much awesome goodness we can find. We've got a lot of clothing in here, but I have a feeling that a lot of this is gonna be brand new stuff ordered from QVC and never even never even worn so who knows what we're gonna find we're gonna start digging through it right now okay guys first box here is you guessed it the QVC box and I'm doubting that this is well there you have it, it says living room so who knows what she kept in her living room we'll just have to take a look and see Wow front and center that's Barbie limited edition of 24,500 this is copyright 1996 from Mattel inspired by the 1997 Hallmark exclusive holiday traditions Barbie doll so this is Hallmark Barbie pretty cool I must say got something in here it is a painted glass ornament this says Sylvania 2004 have no clue if that has any worth but we're gonna set it to the side and check it here in a minute not only do I love you but you're my best friend that is beautiful and very well said I must say hot sauce is my best friend too it's always good to marry your best friend guys guys and gals for those of you that aren't married marry your best friend these are nice doilies look handmade to me what does that say Marco Polo this has a strange feel to it okay please don't be broken I don't know if that's supposed to turn or not I don't think so uh, Lori uh, Laura Cron Here's the battery that fell out of it. Maybe the battery's still good. Let's test it. I'm going to say probably not. <laughs> Let's see if we find the rest of that. I bet this is the globe to it right here. There it is. Loricron German Quartz. 
Interesting. Okay. Set this on top. And there you have it. Next up, guys, we have a mystery suitcase. So let's just take a look and see what we've got in here. There's no telling. If anything, even. But it, I thought I felt some weight to it. <laughs> we got bags. Wait, there's something in this. This Precious Moments Park. Born to Shop. All right. <laughs> Precious Moments Born to Shop. What else is in here? A Precious Moments pin. A couple things in here. This might just be paperwork, but you never know. Could have some money stashed in here. Okay, that goes to the luggage. That goes to the luggage as well. That might be all that we have in here. Check in here. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, we got some stuff. Dallas. What's this? Continental Airlines. What? Okay, it's a headset. I guess they got a headset on the uh, on the flight. That's it. That's all she wrote. This is a nice bag. Papa's already called it. He's getting the luggage. Next up, guys, looks like we have a basket. Clothing, dirty clothes basket, whatever you want to call it. Laundry basket full of stuff. Let's take a look and see what we might find in here. First and foremost, looks like a couple of hats. Nothing too special, I don't think. This says Unihat by Tex Texas, Texas, USA made. I mean, that's nice for what it is. Next, we got, this is an express bag with what looks to be a brand new, holy crap. Are you for real right now? <laughs> what is going on? This feels like it might be cashmere. There it is. It's 50% cashmere, 50% wool. So I'm guessing this is just a blanket, a cashmere wool blanket from Express. Wow. Okay. So that'll probably go on eBay. I'd be willing to bet. So we're going to set that aside. Take a look at that later. This feels cashmere-ish. Just a pillow. I'll look at this here in a little bit, see if I can't find a tag. These look nice. Take a look at these, guys. Storybook Nets. And these are brand spanking new, guys. Um, here's the tags. I don't think she ever wore these. These could be worth a mint on eBay, guys. Storybook Nets again. New with tags. Another Storybook Nets. This one looks more like a native Southwest pattern. That's three. Here's another one. That's four. Indigo Moon. And here's another storybook nets right here. Those are nice, man. Holy. This looks like a piece of silver plate to something. A lid to something. All right, guys, this next box, I went ahead and opened it up a little bit because the top of this box had personal names on it. But let's take a look, see what we might have in there. It looks like more Fitz and Floyd stuff. I've already sold quite a bit of this on eBay. And it goes rather quick, actually. Omnibus OCI, so that is Fitz and Floyd. That looks like the bottom of a Christmas cookie jar. Let's see if we can find the top. This is not the top, but that belongs with it. Um, a lot of times you'll find this stuff in sets, and that is a napkin holder. Pretty cool. There you go. Um, not sure what this, okay, it's a candlestick. It's a candle holder. Not sure why it has a handle. Okay, there's the top to something. Christmas tree. There's another top. Looks like a pine cone. 
Okay. Hand painted. This one's a little dirty. Some type of dish. It's another lid. Alright, so that's probably for sugar. That's a cool looking picture right there, buddy. That is nice. 1990, 44 ounce pitcher. We do have the lid to that. It's right here. There's the lid. That is nice. Here's another great big pitcher. We've got the lid to him. Right there. Cool. What do we have in here? Okay, this is for the creamer. This looks like it's the last thing in the box. So hopefully we find these other lids in another box at some point. That goes to our cookie jar. And there's the cookie jar. Man, that is good looking. Good looking stuff right there. Next up, another tub of clothes. But the thing is, you have to go through this stuff because you never know when you're going to run across uh, vintage Anything vintage, it's possible. It's potential. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We're going to have to wait on this. This, There's something in there. Okay. All right. Let's go through this. This looks incredible. What do we have here? Ooh. Genuine mink. Genuine mink leopard dyed. $135. Holy crap. Are you serious right now? Oh, and here's the the chain. This is an incredible looking purse. Let me get it to close. There we go. Uh, wow. I don't know what brand it is. It looks like some type of boutique. Siesta la vie. I'm probably butchering that. Sorry. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's probably going to go on eBay, I would imagine. What do we got here? Uh, we have a purchase order. Uh, HSN. This came from HSN. And she spent, holy crap, this is a Whiting and Davis studded bag. She paid $82.50 for this. Holy crap. Are you serious? That's incredible. And looks like she never used it. There it is. Brand new Whiting and Davies studded bag. So that is likely going eBay right there, boys and girls. That is crazy. In the bag with the purchase order. What's next here? I'd be willing to bet this came... Yep, Whiting and Davies. Davis again. Whiting and Davis. I don't know why I said Davies. So here's another Whiting and Davis bag. That's going eBay all day long. Um, or Express. There's Express. Okay. Um, this is Victoria's Secret. Like a toiletry bag, maybe? Or a uh, beach tote? I mean, it's way too small for a beach tote, but... It's new with the tag. $7.50. Nothing special. That'll probably go in my dollar auction. Somebody will find some good use to it. What do we have in here? This is from Hancock Fabrics. Okay, we got some fabric in here. Nice. So, as always, I bulk that up and sell it in my YouTube auction, all the fabric stuff. Ooh, this is... This looks maybe... Handmade. That's genuine fur of some sort. What's the brand on here? There is no brand. So this has this has obviously been custom. There was a brand. Just don't know what it is. That's nice. Customized purse. This is this is Coldwater Creek. So maybe that's where it came from. Uh, this is more Joanne fabrics. We got more fabrics in here. Nice stuff. 
Angel. VS. These are little Victoria's Secret bags. I don't know why she grabbed them, but she's got them. And this is... Okay, this matches the, the fabric stuff that we got. So this is just fabric. This looks like it's... What's this? Just a bag. Empty bag. Why does she keep these? Don't get it. <clears throat> and this is Hancock fabric. So we got more fabric here. This feels like tapestry though. It's real thick and heavy. Some of this could be really nice. Don't have a clue. Well, that's embroidered. Don't know. I don't know what this stuff would go for. <clears throat> but it's nice nonetheless look at this stuff it's thick it's almost like um, something you would reupholster with it's upholstery fabric I think same thing with this real thick stuff nice though okay so I almost totally forgot we gotta go through this box here uh, let's see what we got alright Nothing spectacular. Potential vintage jewelry. Let's look underneath here. Nothing. Dang. Well, win some, you lose some. Still a nice box, though. This box is labeled Collectibles Dishes Fragile. And it's a large box. Quite heavy, I must add. And who the heck knows what might be in here? We might find something extraordinary. Who knows? Let's just dig into it. Okay. First off, <laughs> looks like we have tableware. It's a napkin. All right. Moving forward. Nice, great, big platter here with a rooster and a hen. A couple hens. Made by uh, SM, whoever uh, that might be. More napkins. Maynard. Nice old school. What would that be? A mixer? What is this? Okay, we got some brass here. <laughs> this is uh, Homco made in Japan. I didn't even know Homco made brass. Uh, it's a candlestick. Nice tall, big tall candlestick. We might find a matching pair in here. Now, here's the lid to this. Wow. Royal Crown, hand painted. This is incredible. Almost looks... <laughs> if I was a betting man, I'd say that's an urn, but I... <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> At least it's not being used or occupied. That's the word. Occupied. If it was an urn... <sighs> occupied, I guess? Oh, wow. This is beautiful, guys. Look at this. that maybe this is gorgeous holy crap uh, I'm not seeing any markings but that's that looks fentany to me I would say I'd be willing to bet that this is likely Fenton but man that is gorgeous holy cow Nothing in it, I don't think. Soapbox. It's like a uh, designer, Design Gifts International. Made in USA. You don't see that very often. Soapstone. I think that's what I was looking for. Soapstone, maybe? Oh, here's another one. Look at it. <laughs> wow. This one's got a different pattern to it. This one's not painted like the other one was absolutely gorgeous again no markings on it I don't know maybe that's the marking I don't know what's this lady okay so this is a treat maybe a tree topper she's pretty 
nice angel. This is staring at me here. Got the lid with it. Again, unmarked, but very nice. Very, very nice. Got some uh, floralicity here. What in the world? Okay. Uh, I don't know what this is good for. I'll put it in a textile slot or something. A cup. Oh, we're getting a set. That's what's happening here. Oh, this is gorgeous stuff. Okay, there's a mark on here. Uh, it's a W or an M with a circle. Depends on which way you look at it. So this is not Fenton after all, but I'm still clueless as to what, uh-oh. I don't know if that's glass or plastic and what it came off of. That's scary. Oh, here we go. This stuff is beautiful. Holy moly. Oh, I see a lid to something. This is kind of heavy. Is this crystal? This is either crystal or brass. Or neither. Man, that's heavy. Fenton, Heavenly Companions. Oh, okay. Hand painted USA. That's some heavy stuff, man. She's pretty. Ooh. I hope we have the whole set of this. I would be willing to bet we've probably got a lot of it. There's another piece. There's the creamer. Wow. It's another cup. Another cup here. Hey, hot sauce. Hi. How are you? Cold. Cold? <laughs> yeah. Check this out. Super pretty. We got we're working on a whole set of that stuff. Okay, this is the lid to one of the pieces that we haven't found yet. So we're gonna have a larger piece in here very shortly. And this stuff, this is old. Mm -hmm. This is really old, old stuff. Ah, uh, there's a huge piece in here. I think this is another cup. You're probably not going to see everything coming out of this box, like all the cups and everything, because it's taking forever to unwrap everything. Uh, here's another lid to something big. Ooh, man, this is incredible stuff, you know what? It's really pretty. It's super pretty. I like the, it's mm -hmm. like Frosted. opalescent. Uh, it's not frosted. I guess opalescent green into okay, almost like starburst. Okay, now this is Fitz and Floyd. I can tell you right now, or O O S O B I, uh, omnibus O C I. That's close. Okay. Which is the same company. Yep, O C I. We're missing. It's a teapot. She's a, like a ballerina dancer. Missing the head still, but we'll find it. There's something inside of it. Well, hopefully that didn't chip off the old block somewhere. Ah, uh, you know what? This looks like it probably came off of the lid, wherever the lid is. Hopefully it's not too bad off. This right here. This is different. <laughs> Fenton. More Fenton. And that's beautiful. Hand painted family signature series. Incredible. George W. Fenton. Signed by George W. Fenton. <sighs> this I think 
goes to that that other piece that we found earlier I thought might be an urn. Oh, oh man, she's got some damage up top. That's a bummer. That is a major bummer, but this stuff is old, buddy. This is old. Wow. Gorgeous. Unfortunately, that damage up there is going to hurt its value. Uh, here's the platter, I think. I think we have the platter here. Yep. Whoa! She wanted $48. I don't know if that's for the set or just for this piece. $48. I think this piece no, I don't think it goes on top better. of it. Uh, I could be wrong. Anyway, we'll go back in. Okay. Maybe it's this piece. I can't, yeah, that might be 100%. They fit the same. I just think it would fit better. They fit the same. Um, I just can't see if you need anything. I am golden. Look at how old some of this crocheted stuff is. Crocheted, or, yeah, crocheted stuff is. That's old. Really old. Oh, it's the pitcher. This is huge and heavy. This is going to be beautiful. You ready for this? Look at that. Holy cow. Whoa! $375 what she wanted for that piece. Why? I mean, I hope that still stands true today. Look at that. That is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this sounds broken. And oh, it is. It's in pieces. Oh, no. It was OCI. It was a bunny rabbit at one point in time. A bunny butler. Oh, no. That's not a butler. That was military. God. That's trash. Such a shame. Almost to the bottom, guys. Almost. We're almost there. And here's more. I think, uh, oh. Oh, it was a bride and groom. That's what's going on here. I can see it now. They're dancing. This might be the lid to that that we just pulled out. Okay, this is the lid to... Ah, uh, see? That's what I thought. That was... The little chip that was in the the uh, girl right here yep that chip was the lip to her but nonetheless she's still a nice piece we could probably get rid of her locally guys we just pulled this out it's a Gilbert 1807 made in USA mantle clock and I've got to say, this is just incredible. It's not very often you run across stuff like this, but when I do, I get very excited. <laughs> this box has been nothing short of incredible.